Welcome, I'm Mike of Robbins, and today I'll be talking more about simplifying parameter validation in PowerShell with private functions. This is a follow-up to my blog article and video from last week. You can find my blog at MikeFRobbins.com. You can find me on Twitter at MikeFRobbins. Okay, let's start out by showing you the function that we started out with last week. And what I'm trying to accomplish here is based on a question I received in one of my sessions at the PowerShell Summit. Potentially, there could be some really complicated code in validate script on your advanced functions. And what this code here does is it validates whether a file name is valid or not. So last week, what I did is I created a private function and I moved what was in the if block to the private function so that I could call the private function from the public function from the validate script portion of it and say, hey, if the file name is valid, return true, and if it's not, return false. And if false was returned, it would generate a terminating error inside the public function. So inside, inside the else statement of the public function, it would throw a terminating error. And I followed up with the person who had the question in my session. I sent them an email with a link to the blog article and the video. And they had a follow-up question. It's like, hey, can I move all of that, even the, the terminating error in the custom message, to the private function? And at first, I didn't think it was possible. But instead of making an assumption, I said, hey, I'll do some testing. And it, it turns out that, yes, you can, you can do that. So let's update our private function. And open it up. So now you'll notice what I've done in the private function. Instead of returning true or false, I'm returning true or the terminating error with the custom message for the user. And I'll also update the public function. Let's open it up, take a look at it. Now look at how simple the code is inside validate script. It simply calls the function and it it gives it the value that the user inputs when calling this public function. And if it if it's a valid file name in this this example, then the function will continue. And if it's not, they'll receive that custom error message from from the uh, private function. Let's re-import our module. Let's test it with a invalid file name. You'll notice the error message that was received. .con is either not a valid file name or is not recommended. Let's test it with a valid file name. It works successfully. Now potentially your function would be doing something a lot more complicated than just returning the file name you inputted. And really with these videos, what I'm showing you is how to simplify the parameter validation. Also, let's just confirm what functions are exported by this, mo this test module. So you can see we've got two public functions exported, but the private function that we're using to validate the file name is not exported. It can be called from the, the commands within the module, but not from outside the module itself, which is the design that we're looking for. You can find more great information about PowerShell on my blog site at mikeuprobbins.com. Thank you for watching this video.